for you to fulfill your calling in the Lord. This is the day that he is calling you. This is the day that he wants you to come to his side and hear what he has to say. Thank you so much for viewing today and watching and making your comments. They're so valuable. And we, we thank all of you from all over the world uh, that are watching uh, this video. You know, I get calls all the time from individuals wanting to know their purpose, wanting to know uh, how to fulfill their calling. And so the Lord began to speak to me about this and, and ask and, and just give me uh, the, the scriptures uh, that we need uh, so that we can go forward in the kingdom of God. Let's pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, I commit this time to you. This is your time, Holy Spirit. Move on the hearts of the people. Move in their lives, Lord. Heal their bodies. Make them ever with whole in the name of Jesus. And Lord, let this, that spirit, that mantle, that prophetic mantle be upon me today uh, that I will speak your word with power and with boldness, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And that your people will hear, their hearts uh, will be open to your word today. Their ears will be open to what you have to say to them uh, this day uh, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, let us go forward with you. Let us go move with your cloud, Lord. Move in your glory, Lord. Walk in your love, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I bind up any hindering force uh, from coming against this video. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. The title of this message tonight, uh, today is Give Your All. To fulfill your call. Give your all. You say to me, I want to fulfill my call. I want to finish my course. Then did you know that it's going to cost you everything? Everything that you are. Everything that you have. It's going to cost you. To fulfill that calling in the Lord. Because you must lay down your life. And pick up his life. And if we don't do that, then the enemy can come in and destroy and, and create obstacles uh, that will keep us from fulfilling that calling. You know, I've had people tell me over the years, well, I've been, I've been called to preach. I've been called to teach. I've been called to go to Africa. I've been called to, uh, to go uh, to the to the. Uh, New York City and, and minister on the streets but I just haven't done it for various reasons some is family some is finances but did you know that God can get through all of that God can get through all of that he did it with, with Joseph hallelujah he never lost his vision he did it uh, because he he kept his integrity toward the Lord. And it says that even when he was in the pit, even when he was in Potiphar's house, even when he was in prison, God was with him. I see, that's what happens when you lay down your life and pick up his. Then he's obligated. God is obligated to cover you. God is obligated to to provide finances for you. God is obligated uh, to meet every need and make every provision uh, for you, to go ahead of you. He, he is obligated to be your Jehovah Nisi, the God that goes before you in battle. Hallelujah. You know, I love this scripture. You know, Joseph went from the pit uh, to being uh, the the ruler of all, uh, of all the... Uh, of Egypt, uh, which is a type of the world. And uh, in, in, um, I love what it says in uh, chapter 42 of Genesis. Let's go over there. Uh, it says that, um, well, let's go back uh, to 41, verse 41. Ooh, hallelujah. 
And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, See, I have set thee over all the land of Egypt. What was the calling on Joseph's life? It was to preserve his family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And see that I've set you over all the land of Egypt. And Pharaoh took off his ring from his hand, the ring of authority. And that's what, what the Lord has put upon us. Hallelujah. He has put upon us his, his robe of righteousness. He's put upon us his ring of authority. And he is giving us words in our mouth to speak that are powerful, that change things. If you want changes in your life, then you need to speak what God tells you to speak. That is a word for at least 10 people watching right now. If you want changes in your life, changes in your marriage, changes in your finances, changes in the ministry, then you need to be speaking what God tells you to speak and not what's coming out of your flesh. You know, Abraham... He had a calling to be the father of all nations. But let's don't lose Joseph yet. Let's go over to chapter 45. And I love this. I love this. In verse 45, verse 7. And God sent me before you to preserve you a prosperity in, in the earth, a prosperity in the earth, and to save your lives with a great deliverance. Who's he talking about? He's talking about his brothers here, his family here. Hallelujah. If you want to preserve your family, uh, then you need, to pres you need to fulfill your destiny and your purpose and your calling. And, and look at verse 8. So now it was not you that sent me hither, but God. God will send you. And he hath made me a father. Look at this. Joseph's talking. He has made me a father to Pharaoh. I love that. The Lord of all his house and a ruler throughout all the land of Egypt. But he was made a father to Pharaoh. What does that mean? That Pharaoh listened to his wisdom. He received his position that God put him in. You see, when God calls you, it says that he is faithful. This is 1 Thessalonians 5.24. Some of you need to remember this. You need to write it down. Uh, put it somewhere in your house or where you go often so that you can read it. Hallelujah. Confess it out loud in your mouth. Begin to proclaim it from the housetop that God is, that he is faithful. <coughs> faithful is he that calls you. What does that mean? That God will do it? That's what it means. You don't have to do all, go through all these hoops. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do that. You don't have to answer to man. If man has called you, <coughs> then man can stop it. But if God has called you, then no man can stop it. No person can stop it. So I ask you today, are you being called by God? Then you need to trust him today. Hallelujah. You know, King David, King David had a, had a calling out there to be king over Israel. And David, did the three things that we're going to talk about in just a few moments. And he became king. And he received that position from the Lord. God did that. God called him and God did it. And that's the same thing that's going to happen with you. If you feel like you have a calling from God, uh, just like Joseph, just like Abraham, just like David, just like Moses... Just like Deborah, just like Esther, uh, just like Paul, and of course like Jesus. If you have a calling to fulfill, and God is wanting you to do something, then God will help you to do it. Hallelujah. You know, Moses stood right there by the burning bush and said, you know, 
uh, you're, you're sending me to, to deliver uh, your people out of Egypt, uh, but I can't even speak, and you want me to go before Pharaoh. And Pharaoh will say, oh, well, I've got that covered. I've got that covered. I've sent Aaron, and Aaron is going to speak for you. Praise the name of the Lord. God provides. When we are weak, he is strong. Hallelujah. The Apostle Paul said that. You know, and in, in, in Moses uh, also uh, just had a, a, an issue uh, about a lot of things. And, and God told him to, to speak to the rock the second time, and, and he uh, continued to strike it. Those of you that continue to be in the old mindset, uh, under the old doctrine, uh, let me tell you something. You're going to have to move out of that in order to fulfill your purpose and your calling. Again, the title of this message is Give Your All to Fulfill Your Call. Are you willing to do that? Or do you have your own agenda? You have your own schedule. And if God fits in, okay. And if God doesn't fit in, that, that's okay with you too. No, that's not going to cut it. That's not going to cut it, people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know Jesus, in Luke 9, 51, it said that he set his face steadfastly toward Jerusalem. He never lost focus. He never lost his vision. Neither did Joseph. Neither did Moses. Neither did David. Hallelujah. And Esther, look at Esther. Praise the name of for, for Esther. Hallelujah. She, she wanted to deliver her people from death. And she was willing to lay down her life by going before the king when he didn't ha when he had not called her but she had favor with the king and you have favor with king jesus woo can you say amen hallelujah jesus is my all in all praise the name of the lord forever hallelujah you know i heard once uh, a minister of God that, that said, you pray yourself into God's perfect will. And that's my first number one on my list. I've got three things I want you to remember today. And that is, you need to develop your prayer life. You need to prepare yourself through the Holy Spirit. And you need to prevail over obstacles and hardships. Those three Ps, okay? The number one P is to pray. You pray yourself into God's perfect will. I'm not talking about praying with your understanding. I'm talking about praying in tongues. I'm talking about praying in the Spirit. Why is that so important? Number one, it builds up our faith. Number two, the devil can't get through. He cannot understand what you're praying, and you're praying to the Father. Hallelujah! You don't need an intermediary. You can pray directly to the Father, and He will hear you. Hallelujah! His ears are open unto the righteous, and His eyes are upon you. Even today, in the name of Jesus, I'm getting excited! about the Lord today because I see you I see you in the spirit realm and I see you leaping up and down and I see you shouting to the Lord and I see you being set free to fulfill your purpose hallelujah did you know you said well how do I know who I am how do I know of what he wants me to do your purpose and your destiny and your your uh, calling is written in the Word of God. In the volume of the book, you will find out what He wants you to do. You see, the Word speaks loudly. The Word is a more sure word of prophecy. 
I ask the Lord to confirm in you right now what he is wanting you to do, what he's wanting you to do about a lot of decisions uh, that, you, that are on your plate right now. And God, I ask the Lord to confirm his will to you through his word and by his spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pray. You know, when Paul was called to take the gospel to the Gentiles, he didn't confer with man. It said that he went to the back part of the desert and he began to pray. He began to communicate with the Father. He began to build a relationship with the Father. And that's what you have to do. To fulfill your calling, you must build a relationship with the Father because he's the one who called you and he is faithful to perform everything that he has told you to do. He will do it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So build that relationship with the Father. I've had people ask me this question. Well, what can I do? What can I do? I want to answer my calling. I want to do what God tells me to do. Start out with prayer. The first P is prayer. Pray, pray, pray without ceasing. Oh, I hear somebody shouting. Oh, that's good. Hallelujah. 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 Number two. The second P is that we prepare ourselves. Through the Holy Spirit, who is our helper, our guide, our teacher, our comforter. The one who convicts us of sin. He is the one. He will help you prepare for your calling. You don't have to go to the cemetery. You don't have to go over here to this school or that school. The Holy Spirit will prepare you. And let me tell you something this. Because I am a militant person, and I think about the military all the time. Hallelujah. God's army. He is not going to send a private to do a general's job. Consider yourself in boot camp. Number one is to form a relationship with the Father through prayer and communication with Him. Hallelujah. Number two is to prepare yourself uh, by you, the Holy Spirit in you, teaching you, training you up. Hallelujah. Exercising your senses so no longer are you a baby. No longer are you satisfied uh, with just the milk and the pablum, but you want the meat. There's too many still sucking on the breast in the body of Christ. They need to be off the, off the milk and onto the meat. And the only way you can do that is by your, your spiritual senses, your eyes seeing what God sees, your ears hearing from the Holy Spirit, your heart all the way with God. Hallelujah. Some of you are on the, on the outskirts uh, of, the, of the river and you're just muddying up the water. Your little toes and little feet are in the, in, the, in the water, but there's mud on the side of the river. You need to jump on in. The water feels good. Hallelujah. So the third P is to prevail. Prevail over hardships. Prevail over obstacles, hindrances, and they can be of all kinds. Remember, man has not called you. God has. And God is obligated to bring down the mountains. God is obligated to make a way where there seems to be no way. God is obligated uh, to move in your life and to manifest his presence uh, in your life. And help you fulfill your calling. Give your all to fulfill your call. You have to lose yourself. Lose yourself. And find yourself in Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Nothing can stop you when you give your all. When it costs you everything. All that I am. All that I want to be. I give it all to thee, dear Jesus. Hallelujah. There's some of you that need to come step out of your comfort zone. Oh, I feel comfortable here. I know that I'm saved and, and I'm delivered and, and I live a good life and I can pay my mortgage or my rent. I have food on my table. I'm blessed, I'm blessed, I'm blessed. You're in your comfort zone. Because you see, the enemy will come at those who have stepped out of their comfort zone. But praise the name of Jesus, you've got the sword of the Spirit. You've got fire coming out of your mouth. The enemy cannot prevail against you. The gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. The church, who is the church? You are. You are the church. You are the mighty, mighty one through Christ Jesus. Oh, how we love you, dear Lord. I praise you, dear Lord. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Sing with me. Hallelujah. Brother Ray, sing with me. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Sing unto the King of Israel. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Sing unto the King of Israel. I'm singing glory, glory, glory to his name forever. Glory, glory, glory to his name. Oh, we love you today, Lord. Hallelujah. Help us to fulfill our calling, Lord. Help us to pray. Help us to prepare. Help us to prevail against the enemy. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, I, I sense. Uh, the Lord moving in a mighty way in your blood. I see him moving in your blood. Hallelujah. I see him making your blood uh, pure and holy inside your body. All toxins being removed. All infections being removed. I send healing uh, to your blood right now in the name of Jesus. Blood pressure come to normal in Jesus' name. Heart pump. Oh, those that would have congestive heart failure or blood disease or heart disease, uh, the Lord is putting a, a new pump inside of you. A new heart pump is going inside of you right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. God is my portion forever. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Open up our understanding today. Open up. Uh, what you want us to do today, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Help us to fulfill our calling today. We give you all. We give you all. Say it with me. We give you all. Hallelujah. Young people, I speak to you today in the name of Jesus. God has ordained you and purposed you to bring forth his glory in the earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I proclaim it to be so in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Young people, listen to me. Listen to me. Just let no man, no person despise your youth. But you do what God is calling you to do. In Jesus' name. If you're an older person and you think, well, God's finished with me. God's not finished with you. God's not finished with you until the day he calls you home. That's your last calling. Hallelujah. Until he calls you, that last calling to come on home, then you need to be working in the kingdom of God. 
Thank you, Jesus, for what you did for us. Thank you for fulfilling your calling. Jesus laid down everything. He laid down his glory for you. He laid down his majesty for you. He laid down his power for you. Hallelujah. He had all of that sitting next to the Father. And the Father said, I need somebody to go and deliver my people. And Jesus said, I will go. Hallelujah. Is that your answer to the Lord today? Wherever you want to send me, Lord, I'll go. I'll go. I'm going to pray. I'm going to prepare myself through the word of God and by the spirit of God. And I'm going to prevail over the obstacles that the enemy has tried to put in my way. I don't want to hear any excuses. Well, I don't have a vehicle. Well, I don't have the finances. Well, somebody's against me. I, I spit on that! I spit on every excuse! Give your all and fulfill your call. God bless you today. Hallelujah.